We are under starters orders and ready to get underway for round one of the National Point Series, the British National XC Point Series. This guy was just holding up the field because he had turned up late. But this was the technical course at Tong and it was an absolute mud bath. So I can only apologise for any mud that gets on the camera. I've tried to keep it as clean as possible, but it is a nightmare. And obviously priority number one is to race and to try and win. But I got he didn't get a very good start in front of me. Luckily, went straight past and got an absolute belter of a start from the second row. I got squeezed a little bit there. Look at the boy putting out the power. Power, 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 ponies. It was full gas from the start. But I was feeling super strong, super fit. And I knew I needed to get to the front because your man could not ride the A-lines and he had to go and take the chopper line. So straight away here, I've just moved up. And I've moved up into about third place. And this is where the camera gets absolutely filthy so just down here i'm sitting in third absolutely mega star i move up into second and then the camera gets absolutely covered so i'm going to skip this bit i did move up into first place here so i'm in first and then i'll get totally max verstappen here you naughty naughty man coming up the inside there you've got to love it if there's if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing. And he took the good line. And then coming down into here, he the rider in front here takes the A line. I go down the chopper line, the coppola line. I don't even take the B line. I take the C line because I just lost all my nerve in practice. And this is something you need to I need to work on. Look how much further I've had to go round. And if you want to be competing at the front of the race, you need to be taking the A-lines. It's as simple as that. You get punished for taking the C-lines. If you're not technically strong like me, you need to... You can't rely on fitness. Look how much I've been gapped here. And I am just absolutely burning through matches right now, trying to get back on, get back to the front of the race, and then coming into the next A, B line. Luckily, the guy that was in first tech place also took the B line. That one was gnarly. So I took the B line, but you'll see just here, I've massively closed down the gap, and you'll be pleased to know I do wipe the camera in a second just here. And look at this, just my fitness is as good as it's ever been without sounding like a complete tool about it. I'm fit, I'm feeling strong on the bike but I cannot afford to keep doing ABC lines the BC lines I've got to start growing a pair doing the A lines because look I've managed to shut that gap down that he put into me and I was feeling good yes I've burnt a match and I was sort of thinking to myself there's only so many times you can do that George there's only so many times you can let your fitness catch you back on on the race so this is something i'm going to be working on technical skills are so important at this level and you just uh, i've neglected them i've always thought it's about being fitter 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 faster faster but really i'm losing free speed through not having the technical ability and not just that i'm getting gapped every time and having to burn matches to get back on and instantly i know at this point here i'm a bit disappointed in myself actually that i didn't even try the a lines in practice but there were so many people standing around and i just totally lost my nerve and i was just scared i'm going to go into it more in detail but yet again he takes the a line i go down the coppola line the B line and to try and stick with him I push on a little bit above my level and I absolutely park it you can't park there George I've hit the deck like a sack of spuds and that rattled me a bit I was like look you're crashing on the B line chill your beans son that is it now settle down and it did rattle me a bit because I've had a crash in the past where I've broken a bone and since then it has totally thrown me off, completely thrown me off. But that taking the B line again and then the fact that I crashed to top it off and add even more time, you can see first place has gone now. It is signed, sealed, delivered. I have been well and truly dispatched. And this is when the race started to go from bad to even worse. I don't want to say that because I'm in second place here, but I'm going to play this section with the volume and listen for the clonks.
Yes, those clonks you could hear there were my gears jumping like an absolute maniac. They would not settle down. It got to the point where I could not change gear anymore. I mean, I was absolutely burying myself to try and get back onto that leader. And I can't be disappointed. I'm sat in second place in a big race with some strong, strong boys on the start line. But yeah, yet again, here we go. There's the A line, the Coppola line, down the B line. This channel is now officially named the B line cyclist. But yeah, it started to go from bad for bad to worse this race because my gears were jumping, then the chain started dropping. And look, lovely that they've left a little gap for me to go down here. But I wasn't a million miles away from first place. The problem was, you sort of had to find a gear that was working and then just commit to that gear because as soon as you changed it started jumping again and when your gears jumping it gets in your head and I'm thinking to myself at what point is is the chain going to drop and a lot of people were having problems with the chain dropping and it was just a nightmare because look it is just a pure mud bath out there and once all that mud builds up this climb was horrible horrendous i had to leave this in and then up through this wooded section absolutely horrendous i was digging in with everything you can see the guy just over on the right through the mud he is literally over there in first place he's only a couple of corners ahead of me so he hasn't like fully dispatched me and i'm thinking just bury yourself you can get back on but my god was i glad to see this descent but yeah if you take anything from this video it is to practice your technical skills get confident descending because if you can't descend you are just giving away time yet again i'm taking the b line and i took this b line awfully this is an a line to me this was flipping hard that little rock garden section but as you'll see here, I've managed to just cling on to second place through the first lap. So we're going to go through lap one. And I'm sitting in second place, so I can't be too disappointed with that. We're going to jump forward in a second, though, because not a lot happened on lap two. I was just hunting, hunting. You can see the, the leader there. So still, it's only like one corner away and I can get back on. So at this point, I'm not too disheartened by it. I know I'm losing times on the technical sections, but I felt like I was gaining time on some of these drags. And yet again, down this section, it was a gear nightmare. Just jump, 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 jump. But I felt like I was going somewhere and actually closing the gap on some of the some of the climbs and stuff but this is when it went from bad to worse the chain started dropping now i've sped up these clips because you do not want to see me standing at the side of the track but honestly it was demoralizing it was a mental battle because then i lost i lost about a minute at that point then dropped back to third and at this point i was essentially riding a single speed if i changed gear my chain was going to drop but i was feeling strong so i absolutely dug in stayed with the guy that's now in second place i've slipped back to third and i'm like don't let it defeat you try not to worry about it and just keep pressing on pressing on never give up that is my one rule never give up but you'll see here he takes the a line your man the b line cyclist takes the b line again but you'll be pleased to know i've worked on it this weekend and ben is helping me out massively at the moment but as i come down here you can see he's just going through the finish so i've had to burn another match we're like two laps in now to try and bridge back on and i do bridge back onto him just up this muddy climb here you can see but you're never gonna guess what happens in a second i get back on and then what happens the bloody chain drops again and this one here through this muddy section was a nightmare i reckon i've sped this up massively i reckon i was here well i've seen it on the footage i was here one minute trying to get my chain back on put the chain back on it dropped put the chain back on it dropped then i was washing it with water and it was just an absolute nightmare i finally get back going and after 
burying myself to get back onto second place wheel, I've lost a minute through a chain drop. And everyone was having these problems, so it wasn't just me. I don't know if the guy, but you can see just here, he's only a, a corner ahead again. So I'm like, come on, push on, push on. You can do this. You can get back up to second. But then it was just here I lost uh, over a minute this time in pits thanks to whoever gave me the bottle of water to clean my bike just there i got back on you saw that i got back on as soon as i got back on chain dropped got back on chain dropped and it happened every time my bloody chain was allergic to my chain ring it was an absolute nightmare i finally get back going again and I don't know how, but I've managed to cling on to third place. This is hit where I had my outburst to the rocket. I need water down in pits. Get to pits. I need water in pits. Where's pits? Down there. But that is the story of the race, really. I couldn't ride the technical sections. My chain was allergic to my chain ring, and I was just at, from lap two onwards. You look again here. I'm actually off the bike running now because my chain has dropped yet again and then i get to the top and waste another 30 seconds just it was such a mental battle like it is so demoralizing when things are going wrong but i was trying to just say to myself stay positive don't throw in the towel dig in and i did dig in and unfortunately it wasn't the result i wanted i wanted to be closer to the front of the race and i felt like i had the fitness but i need to work on my technical skills and hopefully this summer sport that we call Mountain Bike XC won't be as muddy next time and my chain will actually stay on for a bit. But I dug in, got, got it done and come home in third place. So I cannot be disappointed with that performance because honestly, my chain was just dropping left, right and centre. But everyone was having those issues. But now is the time I'm going to practice my technical skills. I'm going to practice putting my chain on more. I mean, it took the pain off my new bike. It was absolutely devastating. But I hope you've enjoyed this little look at the Tong National Course, my race preview. I come home with third so on the podium. Can't be disappointed with that. But fingers crossed, with the fitness going up and a bit of work on the technical skills, I'll be up there, pointy end of the race, and hopefully maybe even take the top step at one of the rounds. So I'll catch you in the next video.